Konnichiwa. I am Clark College President Dr. Karen Edwards, and I am proud to welcome you to this special ceremony. Today, we honor the global quality of friendship as we observe Sakura, the blossoming of beautiful cherry trees. I would especially like to thank Vancouver Rotary Club and the City of Vancouver for their partnership in hosting this ceremony. I know all of us would rather be in person to celebrate today, but I'm grateful we can gather in this format and pay tribute to the importance of our relationship. The 100 Shiro Fusion cherry trees in bloom are always a breathtaking sight on the Clark College campus. These trees are now three decades old, donated to Clark College in 1990 by John Kaiguyama, president of American Kotobuki. They are not only a beautiful addition to our campus and community, they are a rich gift in symbolism. They commemorate the 100th anniversary of Washington statehood. Each year, as these trees blossom, they signal new hope, new beginning, and a new joyful arrival of spring. At the same time, because their blooming season is so brief, only about two weeks, they remind us to enjoy each day and to live life to the fullest. They are a reminder of great friendship we share with Vancouver's sister city of Joya and the people of Japan. This friendship has created opportunities for students to study abroad. We have formal partnerships with Nihon Fukushi University, as well as Kyoto Women's University, creating popular exchange programs over the past few decades. In 2020, COVID-19 put a pause on students' international travel. Approximately 50 international students who are already here have been allowed to continue their studies. They represent 28 different countries around the world. We are hopeful that with a vaccine, we will be able to resume a robust international exchange program. It benefits both students and the college. Students gain valuable experience as they explore new cultures, hone their language skills, and experience new styles of education. Colleges gain a diverse student community that enriches the learning environment. Bringing together people from multiple cultures provides everyone authentic opportunities to learn about themselves and the world they live in. At Clark College, we celebrate Sakura because it honors our international spirit and our commitment to creating a welcoming, safe, and inclusive place of belonging that is rich in diversity. We are all citizens of this global community celebrating this year's Sakura with our dear friends. Hello, everyone. I'm Mayor Toshiharu Okuda of Joyo City in Kyoto, Vancouver's sister city. オンラインで会いましたら会場にて直接皆さんのお顔を拝見しながらご挨拶ができれば良かったのですがこのコロナの状況の中でありますのでビデオメッセージにて失礼いたします。Originally, we had planned to meet in person, but due to the coronavirus pandemic, please allow me to say what I intended in a video message. まず、初めに新型コロナウイルス感染症がもう異を吹い、世界中で人々の日常生活を脅かし、社会経済にも深刻な影響を与えています。亡くなられた方にお悔やみ申し上げますとともに、罹患された方の一日も早いご回復をお
I am so relieved and happy to hear that our sister city's Clark College Sakura Festival will be held. Sakura Festival ではクラークカレッジに植樹された日本を代表する桜が校内で色鮮やかに咲き誇ります。私も何度も拝見させていただいておりますが、いつもその美しさと素晴らしさに感動し、バンクーバー市と乗用市との友情を再確認いたしております。At the Sakura Festival, 100 cherry blossom trees given as a sign of friendship will be in bloom across Clark College's campus. Though I have seen them, I've had the pleasure of seeing them before, their beauty and wonder never fail to move me, and the strength of Vancouver and Joyo's bond is reaffirmed in my heart. Vancouver and Joyo's bond is r e a f f i r m e 姉妹と指名役を締結してから、今日まで様々な交流を積み重ね、2020年には25周年を迎えることができました。ジョイオとバンクーバーは、シスターシティーの o c t o b e r 30th, 1995, and since then have planted many seeds of friendship through cultural exchange. 2020 marked the 25th anniversary of our friendship. 新型コロナウイルス感染症が収束した際には、今後また両親の交流が活発に行われることを記念いたしております。I am praying for the day when the pandemic ends and our two cities may once again interact safely. 結びにあたり、この大変な状況の中、サクラフェスティバルの開催にご尽力いただいたエドワーズ学長及び王御市長をはじめとするすべての方々に感謝申し上げるとともに、バンクーバー市とクラークカレッジのさらなるご発展と、バンクーバー市民の皆様のご健康とご多幸をお祈り申し上げまして、私からのお祝いの言葉といたします。To conclude, during these difficult and unprecedented times, I would like to extend my gratitude to Dr. Edwards And Mayor Ann McInerney Oval for their development of Clark College and Vancouver City. And finally, I wish for the health and happiness of all Vancouver citizens. Thank you very much. Konnichiwa and good afternoon. I am Greg Kimsey, president of the Rotary Club of Vancouver. We are so pleased to celebrate the 16th annual Sakura Festival. And we thank Dr. Edwards and Clark College for the honor to speak at today's special event. I also want to thank Vancouver's Mayor, Anne McInerney Ogle, a proud Rotarian, as well as former mayors, Tim Levitt, Royce Pollard, and Bruce Hanginson, for their strong support of the important relationship we share with our sister city, Joyo. The Rotary Club of Vancouver and the Kyoto Joyo Rotary Club have a long and outstanding record. Of service in their communities and a legacy of hospitality and goodwill between our cities. The fourth object of Rotary is the advancement of international understanding, goodwill, and peace. Over the years, service projects between our two clubs can be found throughout our communities, honoring our relationships and the founders. These projects not only make a statement about our commitment to that object, but also serve as welcoming symbols. For visitors from both our nations and advance our goals of being truly inclusive and global cities. Our clubs have a friendship that has its roots in the 1980s, well before the signing of the Sister City Agreement in 1995. Rotarians and leaders, including Mr. Kagiyama, former Joyo Mayor Ima Michi, Mayor Hagenson, Ellie Kassab, Keith Copeland, and many others. Planted and cared for the seed of friendship that has blossomed into beautiful and robust, robust connections between many individuals and organizations. I acknowledge and thank Joyo's current leaders, Mayor Okuda and the Joyo City Council, for their strong support and generous contributions to this relationship. Over the past 30 years, our two communities have had more than 100 delegation visits, including exchanges of students. Music and art. 
This includes many trade missions led by the Columbia River Economic Development Council. The CREDC first visited Kyoto in 1984 at the beginning of significant technology investments by Japanese firms in the Vancouver area. The, those investments have resulted in thousands of well-paying jobs and many millions of dollars of economic impact in our community. Last year, the Kyoto Joyo Rotary Club celebrated its 50th year anniversary. And this year, the Vancouver Rotary Club celebrates its 100th year. Last year was also the 25th anniversary of our sister city and sister club partnerships. As we celebrate these milestones and the cherry blossoms, we reflect on what this relationship has grown to today. While the names and faces of this friendship will change, we enjoy a relationship that will continue to blossom for many years to come. Thank you again for the opportunity to speak today and for your ongoing support of our special friendship. Thank you. Hello and good afternoon. My name is Karen Rivera. I am the district coordinator for Art Discovery with Evergreen Public Schools here in Vancouver. It is my honor to join you today on this special day as our community recognizes Sakura and extends this celebration across the ocean to our friends in Joyo, Japan. What a beautiful way to acknowledge this annual tradition and all of the relationships that have been made through this festival and made the festival what it is today. While we're not able to gather in person under the beautiful blossoms that we celebrate each spring, there is something equally special connected to this virtual opportunity and I am truly honored to be a part of it. It's been my pleasure to work with the city over the past five years, procuring local pieces for the annual Children's Art Exchange. Visiting City Hall to help coordinate the combined exhibit of youth art from both communities is a highlight of each school for me, definitely. And the opportunity for Vancouver students and their families to experience this unique gallery before our local pieces are sent to Joyo for display at the International Festival is a special experience for them, definitely. This annual exhibit highlights the youth talent from both communities in one place, and it's a beautiful reminder that similarity can be found among differences. Whether it's a scene from a well-known story, the visual representation of a holiday that we share, the beautiful blossoms of a cherry tree, delicious food, even the weather, our children see and feel and want to share the ordinary things around them, things that oftentimes their friends across the ocean are experiencing as well. Like Sakura, the annual Children's Art Exchange has become a unique and celebrated tradition among our communities. It creates a thoughtful, colorful, intentional connection that resonates with everyone. Because after all, art is the universal language that speaks to all people. And this exchange is a powerful example of that. I believe that some of Joyo's art was shared with everyone as this program began. It's always beautiful. We plan to deliver our city's um, children's art to Vancouver City Hall as the school year winds down in a few weeks in June. While timing of the exhibit may be different this year, I understand that City Hall will display the art as soon as the building is deemed safe to open to the public again. And until then, images of the exhibit will be shared on the city's Facebook page, so please be sure to take a look. Once again, thank you for the opportunity to join you today and share a little bit about the annual Children's Art Exchange with our sister city. I'm so honored to have made this meaningful connection for our students of both communities and the District Art Discovery Program is very proud to participate. Thank you, enjoy the program. Okay, good afternoon everybody. Uh, my name is Tatsuo Ito, Executive Vice President of SH America. On behalf of uh, myself and the SH America teams, it is my pleasure to join you today. The Japanese Cherry Blossom Festival, known as Sakura Matsuri, represents welcoming of spring. The act of celebration of a festival is called Hanami, which directly translates to the viewing of a flower with the tradition of a festival itself dating back over the thousand years. At SH America, 
we have planted a significant number of cherry trees over the 40 years. Our employees and guests truly enjoy their beauty of spring. Clark College also accepted our gift of 100 cherry tree at North Campus. We hope that the Vancouver community enjoy these trees in the future. This year marks 10th anniversary of 2011 earthquake. The magnitude 9.0 earthquake was followed by massive tsunami. We lost over 15,000 lives and close to 3,000 people still are missing. It is a decade before the 2011 earthquake. The handful of Japanese geologists recognized that a large earthquake and tsunami has struck northern Honshu region in 869 AD. However, their warning went unheard by official responsible for the country's earthquake hazard assessment. After learning this fact, a group of volunteers started the Sakura Line 311 project. Their mission is to plant cherry blossom over 100 miles stretch of land to mark where the tsunami reaches farthest inland. Anywhere beyond this line will be considered a safe zone just in case uh, it's happening in the, in the future. <coughs> this line also serves as a memorial so that future generations will not forget what was happening here. Sakura tree is a symbol of a new beginning, hope, and dream, but also have a power to soothe sorrow and sadness for Japanese people. Cherry blossoms, magnificent but brief lifespan, remind the people that similar to a delicate white pink flower, uh, human life is also short and beautiful. We hope it lifted your spirit and bring a sense of appreciation for nature greatness. Again, it's an honor to join you today. Thank you very much. Konnichiwa. I'm honored to join you here today for our community's 16th annual Sakura Festival. Well, like most things in this past year, this event looks very different, <laughs> but it is surely no less special. We look forward to a time, and hopefully in the very near future, when we can gather once again in person to share this beautiful tradition. In Japan, this celebration is an annual rite of spring, and it has become that for Vancouver as well. This is the time of year when our families return to the parks. Residents are sprucing up their flower beds and preparing their vegetable gardens. And of course, the beautiful cherry blossoms. They're all signaling a fresh start to a new season. Cherry blossom viewing events called Hanami are one of the most important seasonal events in Japan. In spring, much like here, the cherry trees in one particular area will bloom all at once, but it's a short-lived spectacle as the blossoms quickly fall from the tree after just a short time. In Japanese culture, the short life of the cherry blossom is often compared to the fleeting life of humans. Hanami is all about enjoying the transient beauty of flowers and celebrating the coming of spring, a fresh beginning. One of my favorite things about serving as mayor and on city council before that has been learning about the Japanese culture from our colleagues and friends in Joyo, 
Vancouver's sister city. Vancouver has long enjoyed a close friendship with Japan, one that began even before our official pledge in 1995. As Dr. Edwards mentioned earlier, Mr. John Kagiyama gifted 100 Shirofugan cherry trees to our community in 1989 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Washington's statehood. They were planted at Clark College where they grow and bloom every year as a continual reminder of our connection to Japan and our many friends there. Over the years, Vancouver has been fortunate to host cultural exchanges and art exhibits, to create strong business relationships with corporations headquartered in Japan, like SEH and Kyocera. And we have very much enjoyed our formal sister city relationship with Joyo for more than 25 years. What began as a simple desire to foster a mutual relationship that would strengthen international ties and encourage an exchange of cultural knowledge has resulted in a very successful partnership. Joyo and Vancouver have shared much since 1995. And for me, the annual Sakura Festival is my favorite. It serves as a wonderful reminder of our long-standing friendship and the meaningful opportunities that it provides. I'd like to take a moment to recognize and thank some of the groups and individuals that play an ongoing and important role in the past and the future of our rewarding relationship with Joyo. Locally, of course, we are so grateful for Vancouver Rotary, the sponsors of our formal sister city relationship, but also Columbia River Economic Development Council, SEH America, the Port of Vancouver, Clark College, former mayors Higginson, Pollard, and Levitt, Ellie Kassab, Jana Sai, Wayne Clementson, and many others who have embraced members of the Joyo community as part of our own. And from Joyo, we must extend our gratitude to Mayor Okuda and city council members, Mr. Ishida and Friends of Vancouver, the Rotary Club, Joyo International Exchange Association, the Seroptimus Club, and of course our longtime unofficial liaison and interpreter, Mrs. Tomoe Fujimoto. This is just a short list of the individuals with a long list of connections and memories to share. Like these beautiful cherry trees, may the relationship we honor today develop even deeper and greater and stronger roots in the future, allowing them to bloom and grow for generations to come. Thank you all for joining us today. Please take good care.